The history of Belfast Islamic Center, um, we know that the Belfast Islamic Center is established in uh, 1986 in this building. Before that, it was in you know Eglintine Avenue, another small uh, small building. Uh, some groups of uh, Muslim professionals, like doctors and you know uh, university lecturers, came here to to start the the, the the center, and also some businessmen. They bought this building for for the Muslim community. Uh, you know, the, the the Muslim community has has increased a lot in the last few years. Um, I came here 11 years ago, but I can see that the, the, the multicultural community of the Muslim community is so diverse. Like you know, we have the from from Malaysia, from 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 India, from Pakistan, from the Arab countries like Egypt, Iraq, different nationalities, different languages. Uh, maybe 42 nationalities are there in the Islamic Center. Um, so we we have to provide things that is you know can suit everybody. So we have social activities in the Islamic Center. We have the mother and toads. We have also uh, uh, English classes for the newcomers of uh, our sister and brothers from Syria. They come with maybe little English skills. So we have uh, classes for them, English classes. We we'll provide them with an Arabic speaking guy who can communicate with them in Arabic and teach them English too. Uh, we have also uh, Arabic classes for beginners, which is attended by everybody. It doesn't have, you, they do not have to be Muslims. It's open for everyone. So it, you know, the Islamic center is not, is not only a praying area or a praying space for Muslims. It's, it's, it's a, such a, you know, a hub for the Muslim community, for their uh, worship and for their social life, because socializing is part of uh, our culture as well. Uh, the opportunities for young people, we uh, we have an aim here in the in the in the um, Islamic Center is to integrate, try to integrate the Muslim community with the wider society, and also try to raise understanding, raise awareness of the wider society of the Muslim community. For the second, you know, aim, we have a program called Understanding Islam, in which we invite schools, you know, youth groups, scout groups from different backgrounds to come to the Islamic Center and they have maybe a half a day course or two hours course in which we we we, we express or we tell them explain the Islamic culture. One one of, one of the challenges facing the center is the the capacity of the building. Uh, we have uh, secured buying a house and a, you know, or, a, or a bigger building in University Street, but we're still in the process of refurbishing this building, which may take time. But in the, in the new building, we will have better facilities, uh, you know, better places for you know education for for people from the Muslim community and for people from the outside the Muslim community. The other challenge is the. <coughs> rise the rise of the hate crime in, in 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 northern ireland in which we have to do something about we have to speak to people to the uh, uh, respected groups you know who've got who've, who have got such ideas about muslim community this is one of the challenges and the, the third challenge has to, is to how to educate the muslim community themselves to integrate with the society how to give them the information about the new society that they are living in. I lived in London before, and I know that we have, you know, uh, major points or good points or advantages here in the Belfast Islamic State. One of them is that the, uh, the enhancing the leadership of women in Belfast Islamic Center, which is not there in many different places of worship or many different Islamic Center. I have heard that some women may be prevented from coming to the Islamic Center in some places here in the UK. But here, the mosque is, or the Islamic Center is predominantly run by women. Also, I, you know, in, the, in, Belfast, in Belfast Islamic Center or in the Muslim community, I always say that to learn how to accept diversity, we have to learn it from inside how to accept our different understanding of Islam, how to accept the cultural differences between us, uh, how to, how to you know, uh, 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 coexist with all other Muslims who are different from us, 
within the Muslim community. So one of the things here that we do not differentiate here in the Islamic Center between Sunni and Shia, which is something very special about the Belfast Islamic Center. We come and pray together as brothers and sisters. We do not even ask whether you are Sunni or Shia. And we have to make the place open for all.